Okay, I have a huge haul to share with you guys. This is actually the first of three from Rainbow Resource, so let's jump right in. Let's start with books. The first two I picked up were the journals. I have a few of these from Amazon, so I wanted to add Matthew and Romans. And these are just write scripture, so it'll tell you up here what scripture to write. Let's see if you can see that. Can you see that? All right, right here to tell you what scripture to write and then I'll ask you a few questions over here. I love these books. I have two already and I bought a few for my daughter and so we'll just add these to our collection. Next, I picked up the Christian Hero Then and Now, adding more books to our collection. I did John Wesley, Milton Hershey, Samuel Zwemer, I know I'm not saying this right, Francis Asbury, Claus Dieter John, Cla Klaus Dieter John, and yeah, so five of them. So I'll add those to our collection. Next, I picked up two through five from the series Imagination Station. We have one. Uh, the boys haven't read it yet. We just started it. So I thought I'd pick up the, um, the first five, the next five, to see if they will like these. I grabbed some um, books just for their project time. I did uh, Chef Academy, is this Entrepreneur Academy, Engineer Academy, and Architect Academy. Uh, I really love these books. I've seen a lot of moms um, flip through these online and I thought they'd be great to add to the boys' project time um, and just, just to be more creative. And they're, they're really written well. There's a lot of pictures and activities for them to do, so I'm excited about these. Next, I grabbed 642 Awesome Things to Draw. Uh, it just gives you a prompt and a little space. I don't know if you can see that. It gives you a prompt and just a little space to draw. So this is something I can easily just leave out on the table and they can pick what they want to draw and just open the book and go. Next, this is new to me. I've never seen this before. It's called Journey Through the Bible. This is book one and it just sounded interesting. As I'm looking through it and it's the Pentateuch and the historical books so anything that is going well not anything but you know I have to make sure it's it's sound um, scripture but anything that's gonna get us into the word digging into the history digging into um, just God's word even more I'm all for it I'm all aboard so we'll try that I'll let you know how this is if you guys if you've used this before let me know in the comments all right more books to add to our project time I got uh, my first book of Japanese I have a son who wants to learn Japanese and then my first book of Spanish we are gonna try to double down on Spanish and really um, learn it this year I've been trying to do this since the kids were super little and I don't know what's taking me so long they're they're half Spanish so it should be a priority. I'm trying to make it a priority this year. Another book is uh, The Boy's Book of Adventure. I grabbed that for them. This is a little guidebook for smart and resourceful boys. You'll learn how to identify different kinds of rocks, read a map, build a camper's backpack, tie sailor's knots, make a periscope, and much more. I know I at least have one boy that's going to enjoy this one. Next, I grabbed three books from 100 Cupboards. So when I pulled this out, my daughter was like, I already have those books. But she's very um, particular about her library and her room. So I didn't want to take her books. I'll just add these to our library. So I'm excited to read these. I'm also going to be adding, uh, this is a Usborne book, Managing Your Money. So, I mean, we all need help with that. So this is this is for everybody. Uh, Escape this book, Titanic. We have one already. I can't remember the one we have, but I love, love, love these books. Um, and so I wanted to grab this one for the boys. Draw yourself in and out of history. And it's just little activities inside the book for them to do. 
and I love this. So it's doodle, decide, and demolish your way off history's most famous sinking ship. Readers beware, once you open this book, there's no turning back because this book is the RMS Titanic. You have three chances to, to survive, decide which path to take first. So that seems really fun. This is another thing that I love that you could just leave it out on the table and they can pick it up in the morning before we start school or in the afternoon after school's over. My daughter already has this, but I thought I'd grab this for our library. It is the complete series of Lord of the Rings. And you know, I don't think I'm gonna sit down and read it anytime soon, but I wanted to add it to our library. Okay, I also am going to add the Dead Sea Squirrels. I have books one through six, and then I grabbed seven through nine. We started the first one and the boys really liked it. Um, they thought it was funny, so I picked up the rest and we can um, either read them together or they can read them on their own. Almost done with books. The next one I grabbed was for our artist study. This is Mary Cassatt. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, these Matt, I think his name is Matt. Mike. Mike Vene why am I it's so hard for my me to say these names. Okay, Mike Venezia. I don't know if you guys have seen his art books before, but we have an entire um curriculum with artists and uh, his books are the spine for it. So I wanted to grab some more of those. Origami. Another great uh, resource to lay out. And they can pick this up and learn. A Seed is Sleepy. I've seen this book everywhere and I just thought it was beautiful. And wanted to add it to our library. Yeah. So pretty. And the boys love nature. I don't love nature, but they do. So I want to encourage that. Another drawing book I picked up, Portraits and the Human Figure. My son is really into drawing. And so I thought this would help him. I don't know if you can see that. I think you liked. Uh, the Greatest Dot to Dot. This I kind of got for me, but... You know, they could do it during read aloud. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that, but this is what the cover looks like. It's not your little kid version of Dot to Dot that we're all used to, uh, but I thought this would be a great challenge for them and for me. Last two books, I got DK Eyewitness Presidents. We will be studying the presidents this upcoming year. And I got DK Eyewitness Weather, which we will also be studying. I, I'm trying to think back into the past years, and I don't think we've really studied weather and they always ask me about it so i grabbed this for our upcoming unit study on weather okay those are all the books that i grabbed from rainbow resource let's move on to games and activities so i picked up the paint by number museum series so i got this one and this one another activity to leave out and let them work on it so it's the Japanese footbridge and sunflowers so I hope they really enjoy that one another paint um, thing I picked up this is called the abstract athlete where paint and sports collide never heard of anything like this before but it's a paint and puzzle kit so I'll show you that and they have to paint the pieces right here paint the pieces and put them together so this is the mountain forest sunset is what they're going to be making so i've never seen it before but i'm excited to um, pull this out and we can work on it together so the next thing i picked up for art is the pixicade mobile game maker so you will draw a picture um, on their piece of paper take a picture of it and when you put it through the app things move so they let you know what color to use to have things move or um, stand still or whatever it may be my son showed it to me the other day it was really really cool so I got this one which is the original one and then quest which is just different levels for the game and like accessories and maps and things like that to go with it as well um, I also picked up this is called a game design workshop in a box it's called the white box and basically it's teaching you how to make and create 
a board game on your own. So there's um, dice in here, pieces that you can add to the game. The only thing that's not in here is the actual board game. So I ordered that separately, but there's a book in here to teach you how to make a board game, like if you were going to sell it. Um, and I thought that my son lo loves to make games all the time. So if he ever got like really serious about wanting to create something, this would be a great resource. They're also into animation, so I picked up this animation studio. Everything you need to create stop motion pictures on your cell phone or a digital camera. This has a fold out set, a press out model, and a director's handbook. And they show you some of the pieces here on the back. Yeah, IQ Link, this is a one player game I picked up for them as well. And um, I'm always looking for one player games, so I'm glad that this is what I thought it was gonna be. Easy to expert, 120 challenges. So Professor Noggin, Earth Science. I have the Ancient Civilization, but I wanted to try this one as well. I've heard great things about Professor Noggin, so I'm excited. And our favorites, Guess in 10. I got Countries Around the World and the 50 States. We will be studying the states, so I wanted to add that to our collection. And we just love playing these as a family. They're so quick to just pull out and just start asking questions. So we do that a lot at dinner time. Okay, a few more games. I grabbed Samoko, Sumoku. I don't know how you say it, but it's a uh, adding game. It might be more than just adding. But I've seen this. A few moms have had this in their homeschool. So... It's a crossword style game with numbers. It can be played five different ways. I grabbed Listography, made the best list win. I love lists. So that'll be fun for a family night. Blank Slate, the game where blank minds think alike. This is three to eight players. So I've seen this around as well. Prepare yourself for blank slate, a game, a game of addicting predictions for three to eight players. Let's see, pick one of the, pick one of over 250 work cue cards, write the word you think best completes the phrase and try to match it exactly to another player's word without giving a single hint. So adding that to family game night, tapple the fast word game for everyone that looks fun this has been on my amazon cart for a while so hacker it says to beat a hacker you have to think like one it's 120 challenges beginner beginner to expert okay so the next two things i'm going to put away hide away in the closet they are for christmas time i got the exit advent calendar so this is it's an escape game, 24 of them, and we will be using this around the holidays time, around the holiday time. So we love these sorts of games. So the advent calendar was a must with 24 cool activities and codes and things like that to do. And I'll be saving this for the holidays. And then this massive, beauty 24 jigsaw puzzles and this is also an advent calendar i might keep this for myself each puzzle has 50 pieces um i'm always i love doing puzzles during the holidays and i love having an advent calendar so i may keep this maybe that's why i got it so that it could be my little advent countdown and you can see some of the puzzles here on the back mm -hmm.